Hello and welcome to GreenBiz Studio. My name is Sarah Golden. I'm the Energy Analyst at GreenBiz and I'm delighted to be joined today by Dimitri Codroyer from Qantas International, who is the CEO there. Dimitri, welcome. And did I say your last name correctly? Perfectly, Sarah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, I would love to hear a little bit about what Qantas is working on. What does a sustainable company look like in your eyes? Yeah. Actually, um, for us to be a sustainable company, it takes in 2021 a lot of courage. And we do think that this courage could be um, demonstrated in different ways. The first one is to be honest, to be introspective and to be courageous leaderships, meaning that business leaders are honest and introspective when they are able to speak and to talk about the hard questions. Is my growth model or my financial model in the line with the global uh, climate goals or global biodiversity goals? What change do we need to do uh, in my operations to be um, aligned with what is needed for tomorrow? They are brave. They acknowledge that the inconvenient truth of what is happening and that is a need of really pushing hard uh, to rise the different challenges that they are facing. And most importantly, they are walking the talk. They are demonstrating that the only way to make the big shift is to create the right conditions to actually make the big shift happen. Secondly, they are respecting the capacity, the limits of the planet. They have the courage to recognize the impact of their businesses on the people, on the planet, and it means that you are able to know or to identify if you are winning a business today, which is aligned or not with the limits of the planet. And if you can continue to operate in the way you have been operating on the past for the future while delivering on climate, biodiversity of or water goals. And we do think that we have to recognize that identifying the, the, the importance of the capacity or the limits of the, of the planet is, is absolutely key. But it's also important to understand what are the key elements, what are the key opportunities to build what we call the planetary economy or economy which is aligned with the planetary boundaries. It's very important to identify that a framework of the past needs to move and you need to open a new chapter for the future. And last, you need to engage and align with your teams. Courage is not just for C-level executive. We do know uh, since many years that the sustainable transformations require courageous actions at all levels of the company. Everyone needs to be clear on board and understand where you are hidden in. Why is it so important and how they can contribute? And most importantly, they need to have a place for the team to speak about the hard issues, the complicated discussions. They need to be able to speak on openly about the barriers that they are facing every day in order to reach the big sustainable transformation they are all moving in. I want to go back to that, that that idea of a planetary economy. What What is a planetary economy and mm. what is Qantas doing to help build it? Yes, so um, the planetary economy for us, it's, it's the way uh, to align the economy with the needs, with the capacity, with the boundary of the planets. It's really how for a company you look to your full operation, you look to your business model and you are sure that you are delivering the same value proposition, but taking into, ac into account the needs, the capacity of the planet. And at Quintus, first, we see that there is a lot of bias in order to, to move in this direction with our clients. Uh, we are talking about the relationship that you could have with your shareholders, how to explain them that. We can see that you could have uh, demands for short-term results where moving towards transforming towards this planetary economy could take uh, some years uh, to move forward. 
You could have generational uh, difference related to how environmental uh, risks are understood or perceived. And maybe um, the people that are able to think about that to solve the issue of the transformation are not yet uh, part of the key decision uh, conversation. So at Quintis, in order to move towards this uh, planetary economy, first, uh, we wanted to work internally uh, to be sure that we are ready um, uh, to, to, to manage to move towards this, uh, this planetary economy. Uh, as you know, at Quintis, we have been uh, all the time based on science. It's really the compass. It's really the way we are pointing uh, towards uh, the true sustainability. And science is really showing the way, showing the critical levels that is necessary to align with planetary boundaries. It really weighs the ambition, but by just speaking about science, you are not transforming. So we really wanted at Quintis to keep the DNA of Quintis, this science background, but to be sure that we are able to transform our clients, to really show them the way, to convince them, to convert them toward this uh, planetary economy. So it was really to, to build the blueprint, the way um, uh, to move forward this planetary economy. And with that, we have decided to work with others, sometimes with uh, competitors, in order to show the way, to show the blueprint of this planetary uh, economy. We have recently won um, the two uh, RFP for, from uh, science-based target ne networks about water and land. Basically, it's how to uh, provide uh, businesses clear uh, methodology and clear framework in order to align their business with water and with land regarding the planetary needs or the planetary boundaries. And we really uh, push our clients to work differently. And we try to infuse the fact that doing better is now not enough. It's really uh, doing enough that will conduct you to be the best. So where does this leave us? Where, where do we go from here? <laughs> like I said, um, I think there are a measure of collaboration to follow through and optimism. As a matter of collaboration, we do think that there is a matter of internal collaboration, but there is also a matter of external uh, collaboration. At Quintis, I used to say to my competitors uh, when I had them um, on the call uh, for different uh, work that they are not competitors. I mean, we are looking to the same way of moving. Um, they are just, uh, or they can be uh, also partners of us in order to show the way. And it's exactly um, the same for clients. The number of pre-competitive initiatives that we have led at Quintis have tripled in the last two years. This pre-competitive initiative, it's, it's a way of, for our clients to work collectively in order to share the resources, in order to share the ideas, to move forward towards sustainability. And we are seeing that these pre-competitive in initiatives are really uh, pop up all over the world which demonstrate the real desires and the needs to work together to get where we need to be uh, in 2025 or 2030. In terms of follow through, um, it's just not saying that you walk the talk, but it's actually making good on your uh, promise. Ask the hard question about where you are now, how you need to move forward. And we do think that we have seen too much big commitments for 2050 uh, or 2040. Uh, no, it's not a matter of this big uh, 20 or 30 um, years commitment, but it's to break them into clear steps for the next years that you need um, uh, to move forward. And the last point is about optimism. We do think that it's absolutely essential. It sparked new ideas. It brings up it brings us um, the way to move forward uh, with innovations and it fuels progress. It keeps us bold and that's super contagious. So there is a lot of work to move forward, uh, this planetary economy, but we believe that we have collectively everything in hand to get there now. Well, thank you so much for coming and, join us, uh, and joining us and sharing this philosophy with us. 
Um, I'm Sarah Golden from GreenBiz, and I'm delighted to have been here today with Dimitri Codrier from Qantas International. Dimitri, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.